Alan Gill, the original project engineer for Jet Blasters, wanted a prototype that can prove that top prime was possible. Well, this was made. I made this shotgun grip. It is not the most efficient shotgun grip. I may put a handle here later on to make it more ergonomic. As you can see, not very. It basically took a new Elite Long Shot shell, ripped out this whole thing here, put this 3D print issue here, and essentially put two aluminum side rails here. Now this warped over time, but the front 3D printed plastic, yep, that's so. The idea was to make a crane over that would go to this top here that would go to a number 10 screw and a number 4 screw. Now the 4 screw is what goes in between the alpha kit right here. It's an alpha kit breech, okay? And I put in two little shaves on the front. I don't know if you can see them. See how they got two flat areas? What they do is they make a so when the dart goes into here, it doesn't create a suction. It was a way around the hole in the tube because the tube is a 36 millimeter interior diameter polycarbonate 1 8 inch thick tube with glue and fiber tape around it. Okay, but what's important is that the, that the tube is actually a milled solid one and a half inch tube that was milled with a CNC. A friend gave it to me one day and it had a bunch of CNC marks and he said he was going to throw away but maybe I can do something with it, maybe I can polish it. I'm like, no, 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 this is perfect because what it does is it holds oil on the inside of it. So silicone grease holds inside of the mills that are going this way. Okay. And what that did, because it was such a fine milling, by feel, you can't feel anything in there, but by hydraulics, hyd water goes and liquid goes where cracks and grooves are. So what happens is, it makes this very slick. Yeah. And the, the firing system is just a simple long shot plunger rod stock, long shot plunger head stock, and I'm using a Delrin catch from an original first release long shot. Now, this is not much different from the Jet Delrin catch. Okay, but what it does is it's, it's nearly indestructible if you use it with plastic. Okay, use it with metal, different story. That's a standard alpha kit breech right there. That's a standard alpha kit pusher. But this has many layers of epoxy and fiberglass. So this is an upper carry. The upper carry does not does not transfer torque to this unit back here, which is your pusher cup. But what it does is it makes it so that's absolutely never going to rip off. And then what I have here, of course, Swan Barrel, 14 inch, very very cool. So I don't know. Let's. I like to load this one single. I I can run magazine if I want to, but I just love to just throw in a dart in there like it's a bold action, and just fire at something. So let's let's go and fire at something, shall we? Just any old thing. I don't know, maybe that box there with an AF Pro Dart. Let's see what it does. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So this is a blast that got 300 feet per second. What's the difference with this blaster? Well, it is a tube. It is using a 16 turf. It is using a a a a, a nerf turf. Um, catch spring that they were using for a while, but the main thing is the barrel and the tube. That's the thing. This is just a standard, this is an alpha kit prototype. You got the silver and you got the black. This tab carried because, of course, they used cheap fucking shit plastic, which I didn't specify, of course. And um, what I did was prove, well, in the absence of that tab, this is a pretty good kit. 9.53 inch diameter, interior diameter on this, so I have better airflow. Well, the better airflow makes so you have better potential for power. And that is the thing with this. So, my friend, uh, one of my friends, um, asked, well, how did I get 16, you know, how did I get 300 feet per second at 16 kilograms? Well, that's why. And mainly it's a barrel, 14 inches, with an ultra-match port, 
But with the Ultra Mesh port, it has a carryover that has the Merlin on it. So that's effectively because you have to add all this brass in the Ultra Mesh port. It makes it about 16 inches plus the Ultra Mesh port. And, um, and effectively, um, much more airflow, which really shows me that the Alpha Kit design had given, and the Big Blue 2, had given better materials, was a great, 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 great system. The uh, Big Blue has been bored out to 11 millimeters, and we all see what that has done. Record holding long shot. No one's beaten it yet, and why? Because it has more airflow. This has less dead space, but a lot of airflow, and it does really good. So until next time, this is Chris Cartea. Don't you go changing, or I'll find you. Now remember that this is just a different priming system. And it has no sled on the inside. I have no sled on this whatsoever. This is guided by this, but you need some kind of guide to guide it. That's the main thing. Otherwise, you have no way to guide this. You've seen a lot of, um, like for example, bolt action long shots, where this wasn't guided, and when you pull the tube back, it can go this way, or that way, or that way, or that way. Well, no, you, ne you need something to guide it in one lateral plane, and that's what this does. So just one final note there. Take care, man. To do.